St. Ignatius Loyola. We celebrate his feast day on July 31st every year. He was born in 1491 and he died 1556. He had to go through a painful conversion. It was in the Battle of Pamplona. They were fighting against the French and a cannonball was shot between his legs, shattering one leg, damaging the other. He was brought to safety and in his time of recovery a relative brought him to read the life of Christ and the lives of the saints. And as he read through the lives of saints, he said, if Francis can do it, I can do it. If Dominic can do it, I can do it. If Augustine can do it, I can do it. So there was a powerful, powerful means of conversion. It was through this providential accident, through this painful suffering. It was through this time for silence and reflection in which Ignatius was brought these good books of the life of Christ and the lives of saints. And through grace that Ignatius Loyola was living a life of vanity and had given into a lot of sins in his life, underwent a powerful conversion. And then we, we pay tribute to him on his feast day because he bequeathed to the church many things, thousands of beautiful letters that we can still read. But also, he founded the Company of Jesus or we call them the Jesuits. Also, he gave to us what is called the spiritual exercises, which is a retreat that can either be done, be done personally directed or it can be adapted. There could be eight-day retreats or there can be a retreat called Annotation 19 when one is meditating a series of months on these very important topics. And then lastly, Ignatius left us two series of what are called rules for discernment, to discern between the various spirits that are moving within us. The bad spirit, the bad interior emotions to reject them, and the good to receive them. So let's pray to St. Ignatius for our own conversion, that we'll go deeper in our spiritual life and we will be able to cultivate what is called the art of discernment.